Good morning, I'm Roy Robertson, and this is Good Business San Diego. Today I'm joined by Dr. Melanie Wurstel, who is the Chief of Urology for Kaiser Permanente San Diego, and we'll talk about a common health concern for men, that's prostate cancer. November is sometimes referred to as Movember, a month we focus on men's health issues. That's why you see some men growing mustaches to help raise awareness. So today we'll talk about what you need to be aware of if you uh, suspect prostate problems and the action that you need to take. Dr. Wurstel, thanks for joining us here today. Uh, let's start with just a refresher or the basics on prostate cancer. What do we need to know? Yeah, so the prostate is a gland that only men have that is used to help produce fluid in the semen, but this gland can cause issues with urination as the urine passes through it. And then of concern that we're talking about this month is prostate cancer, which is an abnormal growth of cells in the prostate gland. So who is it uh, that's at risk? Obviously 100% male, uh, but who's most at risk? And I say this uh, asking the question, having just turned 60 and knowing what you're gonna say. Yeah, exactly. So prostate cancer is more common as men get older, particularly above 65. But the groups that we look for screening may start at 55 or younger, depending on their history. And these are screenings that we recommend in men this age to look for prostate cancer. So let's talk about what men need to be aware of, the symptoms that are, are most frequent and indicative of the potential for prostate cancer. Mm -hmm. So most prostate cancer doesn't actually have any signs or symptoms. It's captured or found on routine screening involving a PSA blood test or prostate specific antigen. But certainly men should look for signs like blockage of their urine, pushing or straining to urinate, blood in the urine, or any aches and pains, particularly in the bones or the abdomen. And regularly, that's something that's going to come up in a PSA test. And this is a cancer that can be caught early, right? Definitely. We advocate highly to have good discussions with your doctor about screening. This may happen every one to two years in the age range that you may be at risk, involving the PSA blood test and sometimes a physical exam, a rectal exam to check the prostate. You know, knowing that you were coming in today, just checking off the top of my head, five friends within the last couple of years uh, that have contracted prostate cancer and have been treated really quite successfully and resuming life pretty normally. So let's talk about uh, the treatment for prostate cancer. Exactly. Goal is to catch it early with the goal of cure. Um, and the ways that we can do that are with modalities, things like surgery or radiation. But we do know that prostate cancer has changed. And thankfully, most of prostate cancer is not aggressive. And we may follow it with active surveillance where your doctor may follow you with tests over time to look for any signs of change. And sometimes in certain circumstances, if the prostate cancer has spread outside the prostate, we may do um, treatments that affect your whole system, but definitely still treatable. And as I understand it from talking to a couple of these friends, real precise treatment methods are available now too, right? They don't really uh, impact other tissue around the prostate. Is that true? Yeah. So with respect to surgery, the standard of care that we offer is robotic surgery, which can minimize some of those impacts. And in turn, radiation has also changed to minimize side effects. Of course, these things are important. We think about control of urination and sexual function, but we take these factors all into mind as we may help men decide what treatments they may need. And of course, most importantly, be aware of anything that you might suspect and see your doctor immediately if you suspect that you do have any kind of a problem. You can go online to kp.org, that's kp.org, and search for more information on men's health or prostate cancer. Thank you.